Well, hello there. It is Horror Movie Jake once again, talking from his car. I am outside of the AMC right now, preparing to see Evil Lurks Within. I am not exactly sure of the title. I already forgot, so that's off to a great start. I will say, though, because I'm in the car all so much, I was thinking about what horror movies have I seen that were um, in a car. Um, somebody's staring at me. Somebody's staring at me. This is like what this is what I deserve. This is what I deserve. But do I like the voyeurism? I do. So anyway, um, horror movies that are based in cars. Like, I've never seen Christine because I've never found cars scary. I've been in a couple wrecks. I've totaled a couple cars. I'm actually a great driver now, um, but I used to be pretty garbage. But I saw a movie recently called Titan by the creator of Raw. I don't know the uh, director's name, but that movie was insane. Like, I went into it expecting, like, shock value because, I mean, that's what it was billed as. But it was one of the most moving like character portraits I've ever seen in like a horror film it truly was like it was it had familial drama it had a narrative arc for the character it had like let me just start let me go back just a smidge let me go back just a smidge so a lady is um a basically an erotic dancer for car shows um it's really cool so like you know choreographed scene it reminded me quite a bit of climax from Gaspar no way no um no one cares just kidding um and it was sort of very intense very cool like that um i will say that i was hoping that the movie would continue to go that direction um just like very choreographed but it ended up being like um going hopping right into the narrative and the narrative being she has a sex with her car she fucks her car she full-blown grabs a seatbelt and fucks that car you don't see a whole lot of car fucking but i mean like it was more car fucking than i ever thought i would ever see like, I mean, like, I think we've all imagined a car fucking happening, like, occasionally. Not, like, cars fucking, but, like, car fucking a car. And now I know what exactly happens when you fuck a car. You get pregnant with car baby. And that's exactly what this, the movie kind of is. And so, um, she's a serial killer. And I'm not going to go any further with details. This all exists online. Like, this is exactly what you find out very soon. Um, and it's kind of like her journey of finding herself, her identity, um... And what it means to like, I can't think of like even just like be pregnant and what that means in the female body. It's very smart. So like, yeah, it's like, it starts with a shocking scene. And I mean, it was done for the sake of being shocking. It didn't have to do that. It could have just been a robot or anything like that. Um, but the way this character transforms both physically and like, like emotionally, I mean, even spiritually in a way is just full blown moving. Like, and I, I really, I hate giving, I don't want to give spoilers here, but there's another character she interacts with pretty heavily in the second half of the film. And I cried. Like, I was just so moved. I was so moved. Um, I never finished Raw. I wanted to finish Raw. I started it, you know, um, the cannibal film. I never got that far into it. Um, I think it was like a little slow. This movie, Titan, worked very quickly. It worked very quickly in the beginning. It was really heavy hitting in the beginning. And then it went in a much slower more thoughtful direction I felt like um which worked fine because I think like if it had had too many peaks and valleys of that it might have been a bit just jarring um I think it was probably a perfect movie the very 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 end I was a little meh about but honestly it I completely can look it over completely look it over um it was just brilliant and beautiful car fucking um I don't even remember what type of car it was I think it was a hot car I don't know if I've ever said that in my life. I think cars are cool. I have a Lexus right now that is completely busted ass on the right side. I accidentally hit a curb when I was seeing Last Voyage of Demeter. I don't know if it was really worth it. I mean, the movie was really good, but not like literally denting in the entire side of my car trying to park to see it. But you know what? This is what happens. And hopefully one day if I get paid for reviews then I can fix the side of my car and then knowing me, I'd immediately fuck up the left side. But it's okay. It's all good. I'm excited for tonight's movie, Evil Lurks Within, question mark, maybe, name of film. Um, it's Spanish, maybe, question mark, name of region and language. Um, but I've heard great things, um, according to one website. So we're, we're going we're gonna to see what this is like. And then I will um, do that. I am looking to try to figure out if I can freelance, do videos and stuff, or write reviews and stuff. So if anybody has any sort of ideas, let me know. Um, I do this for fun. I do this because I love it, of course. But I also believe that, you know, unfortunately, we live in a world where money is a thing. And if I can turn what I love into money, that's great. And if I never do, that's okay as well. Um, as long as I'm doing it, that's all that matters. Um, I just got another look from somebody outside. 
Um, it's like, it's like I'm FaceTiming, but they can tell that there's nobody in the corner. So they just know I'm talking to myself. To my fellow followers. Have a good one.